Well, we just officially ended summer, but as we head into the next few days, you might be thinking it feels like winter out there. We're going to be talking about low snow levels, the possibility of more snow, potentially two to four inches above 6,000 feet, that is up to an inch to 5,000 feet. All of this after a record-breaking hot summer. Right now, we are going to be seeing a lot of clouds continuing to build into the area ahead of our next cold front that will be passing through later tonight. But like I said, it was a very, very hot summer. And here's a look at some of those records. Medford tied for the hottest summer on record since 1967. Roseburg and Montague were the hottest on record, period. And September has been significantly wet. Over an inch of rainfall fell in Medford, making it already the wettest September since 1989. And we still have days to go before September ends and more rain on the way as well. Now, as we head forward into the next few days, tomorrow will be very similar to today. It will be a little bit wetter. We'll see periods of scattered showers across the area. The heaviest rainfall, once again, will be at the coast and in the Cascades. But even the West Side Valleys could see some steady, decent showers at times. Temperatures very similar to what we saw today, except for in Klamath Falls. Temperatures will be significantly cooler. But Grants Pass and Medford expecting to be in the 60s as we head into tomorrow. And enjoy it, because even colder temperatures arrive after the cold front passes through on Wednesday. So a lot of warm temperatures to the south and a lot of cold air to the north. Really, no matter where you are, the country is basically divided in half by those warm temperatures and those colder temperatures. And those temperatures are only going to be dropping in the Pacific Northwest due to this cold front right here. That will be passing through as we head into the overnight hours. So for today, we had a warm front come through earlier this morning, brought us a few showers to the area, and we're still seeing a few very light showers, uh, mainly at the higher elevations. We'll continue to see that in the overnight hours. Then this cold front will start to move in as we head into tonight, bringing most of the rain, like I was saying, to the coast and in the Cascades, where we typically see the most rainfall, and a chance for thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon, mainly in the Pacific, but a few of those thunderstorms could push inland. But it is going to be a cold air mass that moves in behind this system. It will be here Wednesday and Thursday, Thursday and Friday morning in particular when those clouds start to clear, temperatures will really drop. And Wednesday, excuse me, Thursday and Friday morning are going to be potentially the end of the growing season for east side areas because it will be well below freezing. Fire danger level for the next oh six hours or so will still be at high, but it ends, fire season ends at midnight. At the coast, temperatures cool tomorrow. We'll see moderate to heavy rainfall at times and a chance for thunderstorms in the afternoon. In the mountains, talking about that snow, like I said, above 6,000 feet by Wednesday afternoon, we could see two to four more inches of snowfall. In the basin, a cold day on tap, 49 degrees for a high in Chamont, 59 in Klamath Falls, and that's going to be the warm spot on the east side. Add the breeze on top of that, it's going to be feeling even colder out there. Siskiyou County, low to mid 60s tomorrow, and we'll see that snow level continue to drop into the overnight hours. And for the Rogue Valley, a slight chance for thunderstorms, and we'll see periods of rain at times. At the coast, chance for rain and thunderstorms again on Wednesday. Then we start to dry out and warm up into the weekend. In the basin, like I said, Thursday and Friday morning, very cold in the morning, in the 20s. And that's for the warmer spots. Siskiyou County, also cold mornings Thursday and Friday, even into Saturday. But then we're warming back up into the 80s by Sunday, and the Rogue Valley will be back into the 80s by Saturday. So if you like the rain, if you like thunderstorms, if you like warmer temperatures, if you like the snow, we have it all. It is a busy forecast for you. Thanks.